What's up, y'all? I am heading to Austin, Texas. Let's go. Some of y'all don't know, I am... So, if some of y'all don't know, I am a ham radio operator. I've been a ham radio operator uh, for nine years, since I was 10 years old. And so anyway, if you're wondering what that is, and, uh, that's my ham radio. I'm a general class operator. And so, I'm catching the cops. <laughs> uh, the cops' radios are coming through for some reason, and I, I hear that they're up here. But they just said uh, a minute ago they were trying to catch a red charger. <laughs> so I just thought it was so funny because I'm picking up. Hey guys, and also this is like really cool. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Coming up on these windmills, guys, so y'all check these things out. Straight up in the heart of Texas right now, guys. What's up, y'all? We finally made it here to Liberty yeah. Hills, Texas. Mm -hmm. I got my brother here, Luke. Yeah. We haven't seen each other in five years. Yeah, five to four years, like four and a half to, uh, yeah. Like but it's, we've kept in contact. Yeah. We we speak to each other like every week, <laughs> all, all on the phone. Yeah. And literally we've, I mean, we feel, we're like brothers. Yeah. And it's no, like, like. It really does feel like that way, like. Yeah. It's, it's weird because I've never really seen you that right. much, right? But like. I see you as a brother in that yeah. sense, like I've uh -huh. known, right? No, uh -huh. it's kind of like, for example, you sometimes don't see family in a long time, but then right. you see them, right? Like you, you feel know. like this connection in a sense, yeah. you know, and it's like this brother in Christ connection. Uh -huh. I feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about why I came out here, guys. So y'all stay tuned and uh, y'all be following along, and we'll see y'all in the morning. What's up, y'all? So. Basically, um, I lost some of my footage, and so I didn't want to leave y'all hanging on like what happened the next day. So I had to make this video real quick, um, so that y'all know what what kind of went, went kind of what went down. And so basically, the reason I went out there was to um, prepare for a revival that we're doing um, on March 23rd in Marble Falls, Texas. I joined up with Luke, who's been a great friend, and he's uh, God's kind of blessing him over there and, and giving him the ideas for um, uh, this this ministry that he's doing and uh, so if you want to check out his work I'm gonna be putting links in the description and all the videos that we did um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show a little bit of the clips from uh, the videos that I did with uh, with Luke um, some really good stuff we went ministering at the mall one day I shot some promotionals we got uh, our worship worship team ready and it was great and so um, I'll put a little bit of that in the video um, but I didn't want to leave y'all hanging so Y'all uh, stay tight, um, and before we get back into the video, 
Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you don't mind and share it with a friend guys. Let's get back into the video. This is the place where God is going to move, just like he moved in the city of Nineveh and brought revival and people repented for the kingdom of God, God is going to move tonight. So Mark, I wanted to talk to you about why are we doing this revival? Yeah, you know? That's a great question because I think it's, it's, it starts with me, it starts with you. We want, we want this generation to be like David, a man after God's own heart. He said in, in Psalms 51, he said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy way, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. That's why we want revival. That's why we believe that God will bring revival to this city in Marble Falls, Texas. Yes, that's awesome. And that's so true that so many people say that this generation is the generation with the most depression. This generation is with the most anxiety. Right. But in the name of Jesus, we're going to have revival in this generation. And this generation will be known for seeking the kingdom of God. Well, guys, we are about to head to, where are we head to, Luke? Lakeline Mall in yeah. Texas. Where, yeah. where at in Texas? I believe it's like Leander, kind Leander. of Cedar Park area. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah. cool. Yeah, so we're going to go over there. We're going to hit the streets, do some witnessing, and preach the gospel. Um, tell the world what they need to know, right? Yeah. All right. So stick around and see some souls convicted for the kingdom of God. Cedar so, Park, Texas. Yes, sir. We're about to get it started mm -hmm. and uh, start doing some ministry, man. Yeah. Well, all right, y'all. Let's get it. Hey, everyone. So we're here and uh, at uh, Lake Light Mall inside, and so we're kind of just walking around, giving people tracks, and so. Um, doing some interviews with some people. And so, what do you think, man? It's going pretty good. We've actually had a lot more conversations than I expected we would. And uh, we had a really good talk with a guy named Belém. Belém, and, uh, yeah. So he's from, he's Mexican. So yeah, he's Mexican. Really it's cool actually, guy. yeah, Bethlehem yeah. is like in English what it means. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So he, he was really cool, man. Uh, so we're really looking to hand out some more. Yeah. It's going pretty good. You know, guys, the Bible says, how beautiful are the feet of them. Preach the word. <laughs> hey y'all, my name is Luke here and I'm with uh, Turner, Miles, Miles, awesome. I wanted to ask y'all a question, where will y'all go if you were to die today, heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven. And why so? Um, I'll try to be uh, not sinful my whole life. Okay. And I believe that Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen, amen, amen. Awesome, man. Now, what Jesus did on the cross was that he was the ultimate sacrifice, and he lived a perfect and righteous life on earth, and he died on that cross for us to pay the penalty of sin. Oh, that's so cool. Can I pray with y'all? Yeah. Yeah? That's cool, cool. God, I pray for these young men right here, O Heavenly Father, that you'll be with them, that you'll guide them, O Heavenly Father. Protect them and guide them in whatever depression and anxiety be gone in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus, I pray this in your holy, mighty name. Amen. Hey, guys. This is Mark. I'm here with Six. Six. What's good, bro? Hey. All right. So, what do you do here, Six? You got your little stand over here. Tell me what you do over here. So, I sell like a all-natural, all-purpose cleaner. It works for hats, handbags, car interiors, purses. Really cleans any and everything. It's the best cleaner in the world. That's what I do. That's so cool, man. I saw y'all like you cleaning shoes over here and stuff. For sure, yeah. So cool. And I want to tell you about a man. I know he washed people's feet. Because we've sinned, mm. we deserve to die. But God gave us a gift. He said, right. the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yep. Where would you Where would you be spending eternity? I feel like I'd be in heaven. Why is that? I don't know. Doesn't God forgive me for all my sins? Yeah, but do you believe it? Full assurance where you're going to be when you when you die. Okay, man? What yeah, do you think about sure. that, Six? Um, I just hope I don't go to hell. That's all I can say. Hey, man. I'm going to tell you. You can't hope so. You got to know so. Yeah, all right. Well, hey, can I pray for you? Yeah, go ahead. Well, Father God, I, I pray for Six right now, God, that he would... He would trust you with his whole heart, that he would come to the realization that you are the one and only God, that you are the way, the truth, and the life, that no man comes to the Father except through your Son, Jesus Christ, God. I pray that he would come to that realization and walk in the newness of life, God. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So we had a great time of ministry here at the mall, handed out a bunch of tracks, and we also were able to um, have many conversations and good stuff like that, and so... Yeah. Um, what do you think about it, Luke? Dude, it was really good. We got to pray for like some people and like tell them about the gospel. We got some like good interviews and stuff that it will be posting out soon too. And so yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. so it was really came. good. Yeah, absolutely. God was totally in the work with it, you know, and definitely softened some people's hearts with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm.